So I was a, uh, by the encouragement of my parents, I was a business major, and I got my two-year degree there, and I didn't know what to do next, but I knew that if I didn't stay in school, I was going to Vietnam, and I really did not want to be dodging bullets in the rice paddies, because by 1969, it was pretty obvious that the war was not a good thing, at least in my opinion. So um, somebody came to Queensborough and said, Richmond College is this fantastic place, and they have a great art department, and uh, there's no grades, it's pass fail. And I thought, well, I don't really want to be in school, but that sounds good to me, and then maybe I'll be an art major. So, uh, so I went, and I registered for a class in painting with Leonard Anderson. And the first day I went to class, and in walked Fat Fazlow. Milton is much more of a romantic than you are in his work, and you are much more of a classicist. And um, that brings to mind the story where at the College of Staten Island, we had, uh, I think, eight panels uh, of plaster casts from the Parthenon. And Pat rescued them with Arthur Levine, who was the other painting professor uh, at the time. And it was from a building uh, called the Staten Island Academy, which was about to be demolished down near the ferry terminal. And so they rescued these, these casts and they were installed when the campus moved in the brand the new, in, yeah, oh. right, it was part of the freeze. And they had, um, so eight of these panels, but they had two panels that they also rescued that were um, in fragments. One was damaged, but one was very badly damaged. And it was in like a hundred different pieces. Uh, so two art, I mean two, um, two professors from the history department had an interest because they were teaching uh, you know, classical history, came by and they got on their hands and knees and they worked with the one that was in fragments. And um, there was enough there that they thought we could restore it. And so we got a restorer that was recommended from the book. <coughs> and in the end, we had 10 continu continuous uh, panels that represented the west wall of the Parthenon Freeze. But when they were reconstructing the piece that was in, uh, the one that was in pieces, right in the middle there was a big section that was missing. And everybody thought, oh no, this could have been so perfect, but we really need that piece. Because as it turned out, it was the head of a writer. So I thought about it, and I said, it looks a little familiar. And I went upstairs into Pat's studio, uh, and she had this studio which uh, we've tried to retain to this day. And it has all of these still life objects that she collected in antique stores, and flea markets, and taxidermy, and all manner of old things it's that really are just hap almost haphazardly uh, spread around the room in a continuous freeze of its own, so to speak. And I went to one setup. And there it was. There, there was the head <laughs> that she wow. had admired, and she took it for herself to put in to a still life setup. Yes. And it turns out that um, these these plaster casts were molded in the early 1800s at various times. They're actually composites, but the head of the writer that we have there no longer is on the original because it has eroded since then. Oh so it's a very important thing. And she recognized it and admired it. And, and she took it. <laughs>